Hey everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today, like I always say, on a Tuesday and a Thursday, I share tutorials where the focus is on die cutting. So today's card is using a stackable die set. And basically, there's loads of ways you can do this, but this is just one example. In here is going to be space for a gift card, which I'll be purchasing. But you can see there, it would just sit in there with a glue dot. And then on the other side, you have another sentiment. So it's just a fun way to add a gift to a card, especially if you're posting gifts. This is just quite a creative way to send it. And then you have inside to write your message as normal. I finished it off with some Nouveau drops there. You've got the 3D dad and the beer. And I'm going to show you all of that in a moment. Really easy to make. So let's get started. So this is the stackable aperture die set. So you get seven dies and there's a few looks that you can create with this. So it's quite a handy little die set if you like to have little flip or hidden messages and things like that. Then using the funky alphabet for the word dad and then the have a drink on me set again. I seem to be using this all the time, but it's just perfect for um, Father's Day, masculine makes, things like that. So I'm using the bottle and the beer and the cheers, I think. And then... For the papers, I've used my bright and beautiful backgrounds and I've used the blue and the yellow grid there. So first of all, I've got myself just a shop brought 5x7 card. If you want to make this yourself, you just want a piece of 10x7 and along the 10 inch side, you want to score at 5 inches. Fold that in half and this is going to be a top fold. I've then cut this piece, which is 4 and 3 quarters by 6 and 3 quarters. And that's going to be my layer that I'm going to stick on the top. So I'll do that in a moment. So what I've done here is I've just stuck these together as an example. So if you've got them, you'll see that you have a score line down here and then all of this is a cut line. So it stays attached and that's where you would obviously open it. But if you layer these on top of each other, and if you have them so they're opposites, you'd have one lifting that way, one lifting that way, one lifting that way and so on. You could have them all the same way. So it's almost like a little book different size pages as you lift them all up and I think I might look at this again in that way so you might see it feature again but this one here I could you can see I just stuck them so the, the biggest one is just a, a matte layer so that will just cut that size and then I've got this one so the score line is here so it's going to open from the left but this next one here the score line is here so it's going to open from the right and then this one score lines on the right so it's going to open from the left when you run that all through together it will give you this here and then what I've done is I've just backed it with white card so you could have a, a little message there then another message there and then another message there and you can see how that pulls out I think it's a great gift card I've got this card here just to show you and I'm going to turn this one into a gift card but one of the sizes it fits perfectly in there I think it looks really nice so that's just one idea it's kind of like a bit of a concertina but I mean it's called the stackable aperture but you could have photographs in there, it could go into a mini album, could be a little brag book. You know, you've got quite a few kind of sides on it as well. So I just wanted to show you that idea. What I've done here is, so I've cut, take this off. So I've just first of all cut the largest one and I've got this piece here and I've stamped my image that I want rub out that pencil mark now what I did actually to show you just so I knew it didn't really matter because the frame's going to cover it but I then cut the next size and that frame together like this to give me this piece here so when it opens this is what you have so it's quite a thin frame but you're then going to stick that to the largest piece which is that one there what I like to do is just score that with my school board just so it's you know easier to focus it's quite a delicate like small area and then I can stick that one on top of there. I'm just going to rub the pencil marks out. Having the pencil marks there just helps me kind of line everything up. So now I can stick that over the top there. So I'm just going to grab my glue and just add a thin amount. Okay, so I've got my first flip there. I've then cut this one again. So the same one that we just used there. But I've just trimmed, so say that was it there just trimmed off this piece. I want to stick that now right over the top so that then I've got a nice white border and then the patterned piece here. So I'm going to stick that one down. I'm going to use the Kalal glue now because this is the larger surface. I like to use the construction glue and it will just keep that nice and, and flat. So I'm just going to place that one over the top. Just make sure it all lines up. If you open it up that way, 
in case there's any glue it's not going to stick down where it shouldn't okay so that's the first one now you could just have that if you wanted to i think that would make a nice little gift tag and then with a glue dot you could pop that in there have a little sentiment underneath pop something on there like i said mini albums junk journals all kinds of things it's going to work i've then taken so we've used those two so then i've gone for the next one here which is another rectangle that will cut just that piece so i've cut this one here and i've stamped you're a classic and that's the one i'm going to put my gift card over with a glue dot so that then when they remove it it says you're a classic so that is going to stick on here but before i do that i want to stick the frame so to get this one i've used like i said the next size and then this one here tape it in place and then die cut that and you will get this one here exactly the same as the larger one and then again i just cut that one in the blue and just trimmed off where the score line is and then i can stick that one on there and that one onto there so i want this one to so that one's opening from the right so i want this one to open from the left so i'm going to stick it down that way Then I'm just adding the glue onto the back of that piece and then I'm just going to lay that on top here. Just make sure that's all nice and straight. So we've got the top one there that opens and then the bottom one there that opens. Like I said, the idea is, is for that one to hold the gift card. And then I'd probably just maybe put a little glue dot under there, possibly. I'm not sure. It, to be honest, it would all stay. And once that goes in the envelope, it's all going to be closed. And then it kind of lifts and it encourages the person then to open it and see the gift card. So I'm going to have this one here. Age is just a number. And I've taken the image and you are a classic. I forgot to share this one. It's this one here, which is the one of the older creative craft products. It's before they done their rebranding for men. This is the Take It Easy die set. So I've just used the You Are a Classic and then Age is Just a Number and the Beer. So I want to have this more towards the top and then I'm going to pop a bit of foam on that one there. Stick that down and then we can arrange the dad. Okay, so the dad, like I said, is from the funky alphabet die set. So those ones are more slim line. You could just place a piece of cardstock over the letter you want or just die cut the whole piece and then just keep them all, which is what I do. And then I've used some foam just to give them some dimension. And I've just covered them with some of my accent glaze so you get that lovely shine. So I'm going to have dad and then age is just a number. And then I was going to have the beer might have that slightly off to one side maybe have the beer like that i think that looks quite nice and i'm just finishing it off with some nouveau drops i'm going to do some larger dots each end this is a little bit thicker but if you just tap them it will spread them out and then I'll just do one a little bit smaller and then smaller again this is just a easy way to add in just a little bit more texture dimension to the card and again once you tap that you can see they start to self level I think that just finishes it off nicely so thank you for watching today. It's just one way to use this fun aperture die set here. It's definitely one I want to revisit and I've got another idea. So I'll play around with that and you might see that again in a few weeks time. But I hope this has given you some inspiration for those of you who've got it and another nice way to maybe gift a gift card because that's always, you know, that's one of the most popular gifts that people give. So thank you for watching as always. I'll link all the product that I've used in the description box below. 
check out the other tutorials popping up now. You might want to watch those next. And if you haven't subscribed and you've enjoyed today's tutorial, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell. And that way you'll be notified every time I upload something new. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.